All right, guys, so what we're going to do with this one today is <clears throat> we're going to go through probably nine slides. I looked at the benchmark itself, and I really liked um, these questions that are I'm going to show you for, um, for review, basically, of everything we've done. So first question, go ahead and try to solve this one. Do the best you can. If you've forgotten, um, just remember, I'll give you a little help before I ask you what the answer is. Remember that you have to take all of this and plug it in here okay and then go ahead and solve that equation for x once you figure out x then go ahead and plug it in for y all right if you end up plugging this in you're going to get negative 4x plus 2 <clears throat> equals 6x minus 8 then from there move your letters to the left negative 10x and i'm going to do a quick step here in the same row, I'm going to move my numbers to the right, <clears throat> excuse me, and then I'm going to get negative 10 here. So I just did that real quick. This gets canceled out. This gets canceled out. So then I have negative 10x equals negative 10. I'm going to divide negative 10. And x is going to equal positive 1. If I did my math correctly, x equals positive 1. Now plug it back in to the problem. You're going to cross out x and put positive 1. What's negative 4 times 1, right? Just negative 4 plus 2. Negative 4 plus 2 equals negative 2. So y equals negative 2. If you didn't see how that happened, you plug in your x for what you know x is. All right? Cool. Next question. All right, this one, go ahead and do the same. Go ahead and solve this. Do the best you can. All right, x plus 2 equals negative 2x plus 5. Move it over. I'm going to add 2x to both sides. Again, I'm going to do the same step here real quick. I'm going to move 2 over. So I get 3x equals 3. Well, we know x is going to equal 1. You can plug this in real quick. 1 plus 2 y equals 3. All right. All right, this one. Billy has a bank account, and he started with 100 bucks, and then puts $50 away each month. Sandy has an account that starts at zero, and then she puts away $100 every month. How many months will they both have the same amount of money? This is a system question that we just did before, but you have to know how to set it up. Okay, so let's talk about Billy's account. Billy started with 100 and then puts away what, 50 a month y equals 50 per month plus 100. That's Billy, right? $100 is the starting amount, and then the 50 is the change each month. Sandy has an account that starts at zero, but then she puts away 100 every month. y equals 100 every month plus zero. You don't even have to write the zero, okay? So that's what that equation would look like, plus nothing there. Now, go ahead and solve this. You can put this where y is, and then go ahead and solve it. 50m plus 100 equals 100m. All right, so what I have to do here is, this one's a little confusing. You can move your 100m over, and that's kind of what I've taught you to do. So then you're going to get negative 50m plus 100. And there's nothing over here. If there's nothing over there, you can just put a zero. And I don't think I've shown you guys that enough, but you can just put a zero there. Subtract 100. Then you're going to get negative 50m equals negative 100. Okay? If you divide that, negative 50 into a negative 100, m equals 2. How many months they have the same amount of money? 2. And how much money will it be? Well, if you plug in a month, if you plug in two here, two times 100 would be 200 bucks. But it's only asking about how many months. It's not asking about how much money, right? How many months will they have the same amount of money? But if it said how much money will they have, how much money will be the same, you could say it was 200 bucks. Okay. That one was kind of tough. You just have to know how to set it up. 
All right, we're getting through to the good stuff here. We did this one yesterday. I really don't care about the answers. I don't care about, oh, choose all expressions. That could it be? All right, so I'm going to cross all this out. See how that looks. All right, cross all that out and just focus on the problem itself. So when I do 4, negative 6, 4 to the 4th, because this problem is actually just, I think it's only one answer, multiple choice. The first step is to deal with what's inside the parentheses. Once you do that, once you deal with what's inside, you get 4 to the negative 2, right? Because you add these, and you have the 2 on the outside. Then, you don't add those, you're going to multiply. So your answer becomes 4 to the negative 4, which also turns into 1 over 4 to the positive 4. Remember, you can never leave a negative exponent as a final answer. You have to flip it. It has to flip and become positive. I just told you, you can never leave a negative as an answer. So don't go ahead and do this and then keep it negative. That defeats the purpose. You have to go ahead and make it positive. Okay. All right, what about this one? You got to deal with the same bases, the same bases. So A's have to deal with A's, B's have to deal with B's, and C, well, there's no other C, so the C is just going to stay and chill. So again, we know C is going to be part of our answer right away. So multiple choice wise, you could just go ahead and see if you could find that. C, if you could find that. And then let's go ahead and handle our negative exponent. Negative there, you got to move it. It's got to go to the bottom and become positive. All right. So then how many A's are on the bottom now? There's nine. The B, same story. The B's got to go up top and get added to the top. And for some reason, I'm not like this corner of my laptop. Four. Okay, and then that's 4 plus 4, and that's going to be your answer. Again, the negative 4 had to turn positive and get added. The negative 5 had to turn positive and get added. The only way it can turn positive is if it switches sides. Alrighty, nothing on this screen. Let's see this one. Okay, cool. <clears throat> um, actually, I could have fun on that one. No, it's okay. We'll just go ahead and do this one right now. So let me just remind you, actually, I will go to the screen, that... We're dealing with triangles. Remember, this is a leg, leg, hypo. But in the math books, they'll either call it A and B and C. Or, does it matter where A is? Could A be here and B? But C is always opposite of the right angle, okay? And it's always the longest side. It's always the longest side. And what is the formula? A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We went through this really quick last week before break. All right, try this one out. Go ahead and set it up properly. And try to give me what C equals. Isn't this your right angle? So where's your L? You guys see your L? So it's going to be 12 squared plus... Plus 16 squared equals C squared. Okay, now 12 squared plus 16 squared, that's going to be 144 plus, I believe it's 256. If you add these up together, doesn't that equal 400? Right? And what's the square root? How do you finish the problem? You're going to square root it. Square root of 400 is... 20. 20 would be your answer for C. All right, go ahead and try this last one on your own. I'm going to pull up my calculator. You guys go ahead and set it up. It says round to the nearest hundredth. Okay, that's a big deal. Where's your L? All right, 3 squared plus 7 squared equals C squared. Okay. So then that becomes 9 plus 49 equals c squared. This becomes 58 equals c squared, right? What do you do to get rid of the squared? You square root 58. I actually could do that real quick. And on your calculator, you could do this. Square root of 58 is going to be... 
7.615. Ooh, it says round to the hundredth. Boom. This is good stuff. All right. Take a look at this. Make sure. Oh, snap. I zoomed in. Make sure this is the tenth. This is the hundredth. This is a thousandth. To round this guy, don't you have to look at this guy to see if it could bump up? Okay. Okay. This is going to bump up. All right. This is going to bump up to 7.62. 7.62. How does that happen? Again, it was what? 7.615. And when you round to the hundredth, you got to look right next to it. If this number is five or more, raise the score. So that becomes two. All right. Tough one. It's okay. All right, you guys. Hopefully this helped you. Hopefully you got this done. Um, next week, we're going to go into one little concept and then just be in straight review mode. All right, guys, I will see you on Tuesday. Get this done before 2 p.m. Get any homework done before 2 p.m.